Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new war drama, Hidden Blade, and this also works as a spy-type thriller, as this film takes place during World War II, after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, focusing on Hong Kong and an occupied China from Japan, and what the spies for the Chinese Communist Party were doing in order to fight back and defend themselves against the Japanese. And this film is from writer-director Er Chung, and really is absolutely breathtaking. This is an absolutely gorgeous film from every single frame throughout. It's something really special, and you have the music in it as well that layers in exactly what kind of atmosphere and feel you're supposed to have at any given moment without feeling too manipulative or too on the nose about it. The costume design is impeccable. Like, the outfits that they wear throughout this film are so sharp and striking. The There's so many just evocative shots and sequences in this film that say so much without having to really say any dialogue at all. This film is really anchored by some strong performances by Tony Leung, who really is like our main character in this film, doing a lot of the spy work, interrogating, investigating, interviewing people. Uh, Yibo uh, Wong, who is someone who's this contrary force to long through med much of this film, and it's very interesting, their dynamic and how they clash. Uh, Xu Ying Jiang is also a pretty prevalent part of this, and there's some really strong central performances here that anchor this thriller, this period piece, in an engaging way. Now, the challenge here is, this film is two hours, 12 minutes or so. It is very methodical. It takes its time. There's a lot of scenes, especially of Long's character just talking to somebody across the table. Those, like the pacing at times, really sucks some energy out of the film. And also, there's a challenge here because a lot of this film feels very at arm's reach in terms of the characters and us connecting with them. And I feel like that makes it harder for the audience to really connect to get fully involved in the events of this film. But it's still impactful and engaging and for the most part. And I do think there's some moments that are really impactful, very thrilling, especially as you get to the third act of this film. There's some really intense moments that really blow off that building of tension throughout this film, that slow burn, because this really is a slow burn of a film. But it's so striking. Cheng does such a great job of the visual experience of this film, and the actors really help elevate a lot of these scenes as well. This is still a very well-made, engaging, and interesting film, about a time period that I feel like, especially if you're like an American, is like, you're not really thinking about, like, what did China do during World War II to fight the Japanese? We were too busy thinking about what we did to fight the Japanese, and, you know, having something like Oppenheimer coming out, and this coming out on streaming, and being available on, like, VOD and uh, physical media, realizing, like, there's all these other things going on in the world. It was a world war. And it's a fascinating look at what was going on in other parts of the world during World War II. But in, in the end, this is a really well-made and intriguing period thriller that works on a lot of levels, and that makes it worth a watch. But those are my thoughts on Hidden Blade. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.